Hello folks, let's do a session on UVM phases. UVM phases is a very important concept in the UVM. UVM is Universal Verification Methodology, which is the basis for modern verification using system verilog. So I wrote up a blog post and let's just go through that. Right, so first let's just go to the introduction. And the website is jiggersolo.wordpress.com. If you're interested in checking it out, let's click here. All right, so we'll go through the introduction of the UVM phases. Now, anyone who's used UVM verification has gone through phases. What are phases? Phases are just synchronization points across the whole test bench. So if anyone says, I'm in phase A, then everyone else is also in phase A. Where within the phase A, that can be debated, but you are in the same phase. So if you have a piece of code which happens after that phase, then at least you are certain that all of the objects, all of the components within your test bench would have finished that before they move on to the next phase or the section. So these phases control the whole life cycle and they enable synchronization between the different parts. Now, <clears throat> the phases have caused a lot of grief amongst people because there are few phases which the industry standard body, Accelera, says that all of the vendors have to support. Then there are few phases which are optional and can cause some problems because there is one phase which is running as well as one of those sub phases is also running. So I had the intention of writing several blog posts and I've written two of them till now. Uh, so we start off with what the ordering is between the UVM phases and in which and in which order are they executed. Then what's a phase? It's inheritance hierarchy. Then we'll explain the different phases and all the runtime phases, then we have to get a high level view of how they're triggered and any other phase related topic, which uh, any commenters can choose to add. So let's go through the basic, which Accelera says is the uh, phases. So it starts off with build phase, then goes to the connect phase, end of elab, start of sim, run phase. A run phase is going to be the time where your simulation environment is going to spend the most time. And it's funny because this is actually one of those, this is the only top place where you can actually also consume simulation time. And the difference between simulation time is where you are simulating a system, which is different than the wall clock time. Wall clock time is what's seen as in human time. So if a test is running for five minutes, 10 minutes, that would be 10 minutes and like you checked your watch and that's 10 minutes. So that'll be wall clock time. Simulation time on the other hand is actually how many seconds have elapsed in this simulated environment. So a lot of designs now run at gigahertz clock and more. So then every 10 nanoseconds, whatever frequency you're running at, everything has to be simulated and that is generally way, way slower. So, end of elab, start of sim, extract phase, check phase, report phase, and final phase. Now, which are the things to do? Uh, uh, and remember that these are all the descendants and they now use an object-oriented programming concepts of inheritance and hierarchies between parent and child. So all of these are extensions of UVM object and the functions just like how we think of in Verilog is where things are taken in zero time and tasks are places where we consume time. And these time is clocks within this uh, within the system. And uh, UVM does make it easy, not too easy to understand how it does. Hopefully this diagram is my intention of just you see this diagram, you refer to it and things should make it super easy. So the same hierarchy which we saw here, now we'll split it up into functions and tasks. 
and within functions we are going to talk about where things are extended from if they are extended from the bottom up or top down and the thing with that is the where it's extended from is the same as how it will actually get executed as well and when we say executed across all of the objects and components within your design so whenever we talk about phases it's actually just components not objects but object is the parent class for all of the components and objects so getting to functions the same system now we just slice and dice it up into separate sections so that you can easily think of oh this is where you start off then all of these happen and then you go here so we get to the build so first we hit into top down execution which extends from funny and also uh, useful and easy to remember is uvm top down phase that's where build phase starts and it's important because build phase needs to be top down because uh, the first component which gets created needs to be the UVM top. And then you start instantiating or creating uh, objects based on what configuration is decided from the top level. And hence build phase is top and final phase is also top because final phase then will have this idea of what to tear down based on which components already created. Then we have the next section within the functions. And remember, functions are things which take zero time, zero simulation time. Bottom up execution. Now, bottom up execution extends from UVM bottom up phase. The bottom up phases have connect, end of elap, start of sim, extract, check, and report. These phases, connect phase is a very interesting one because now that you've uh, built everything, when you are starting to connect things, you want to connect from the child to the parent. Oh, so because prior to this, right, at the build phase, what you just have is a bunch of these objects which have now been created. They do not have their necessarily linkages done. And these linkages could be even things where uh, some variables and some configurations need to be passed. A common one is, uh, the virtual interface which gets used or set in the connect phase and can be pushed down so you so you generally want to set things in the build phase and then use them up in the connect phase since remember connect phase is bottom up so your child function is going to get executed first and then it's going to go to its parent component and then executes its connect phase so if you're using stuff in the child component, then you want to make sure that value is actually available prior to being consumed. Then the place where you're going to spend the most time in terms of simulation, as well as your uh, debug is going to be the tasks. I'll just move my video around, hopefully easy to see are the tasks. Now these tasks are, and the most important thing is their parallel execution. So object A or component A, B, C, D, E, all of these will execute their run phase at the same time in parallel. So the way you manage between the two or synchronize between the two is through sequence, is through events and several other mechanisms which we can talk later. But the important thing is it's in parallel there is no ordering requirement, very clear. In functions, we have these ordering requirements. So you know which function is going to get executed first. These tasks are executed in parallel and hence no ordering requirement. So hopefully that gives you a good idea on what phases are and how they're executed across the different components within UVM. Next, we will get into what the inheritance hierarchy is. We've already touched upon a few things and hopefully that was uh, easy enough to understand. Next up is going to be more details.
Thank you for your time.